Every time you press that call button on an airplane, you're using technology invented by a black woman in 1888. Her name was Miriam Benjamin, and most people have never heard of her. Born in Charleston, South Carolina in 1861, documented by Black Past in the U.S. Patent Office, Benjamin was a school teacher in Washington, D.C. when she revolutionized how we summon assistance. On July 17, 1888, according to U.S. Patent 386,289, she secured a patent for the gong and signal chair for hotels. Press a button on the chair, a bell rings, and a red signal pops up on the back, allowing attendants to see exactly who needs help without shouting or hand clapping. Her patent application stated the chair would reduce the expenses of hotels by decreasing the number of waiters and attendants and obviate the necessity of hand clapping or calling aloud. Benjamin became the second African-American woman ever to receive a U.S. patent. She lobbied the U.S. House of Representatives to adopt her system and according to historical records, the signaling system eventually installed there closely resembled her design. That same innovation became the foundation for airplane call buttons we use today. According to the African American Registry and multiple historical sources, her invention was the direct forerunner of modern flight attendant call systems. Benjamin didn't stop there. She attended Howard University's medical and law schools, became a patent solicitor, and in 1917, patented a temperature regulating shoe sole under the pseudonym E.D. Miriam. She composed marches performed by John Philip Sousa's band, including Theodore Roosevelt's 1904 campaign song. She died in 1947. No textbooks mention her name, but her genius lives on 30,000 feet in the air every single day. If this story makes you realize how many black women's inventions have been erased from history, smash that subscribe button right now. Drop a comment with the name of another forgotten black inventor. Share this with someone who needs to know that innovation has always looked like us because the most powerful stories are the ones they tried to bury.